What do you make of this, Sean? <laughs> My um, brother-in-law is a surgeon, bowel surgeon, and he told me that one of the things he does sometimes is he fits fake bum holes. <laughs> and I asked him how much um, he would want from me to have a, an extra bum hole fitted to my existing bum hole. And he got really cross with me and said he wouldn't, he wouldn't do it. He said it was unethical because I didn't need a bum hole. <laughs> and also, this is completely true. He told me this, this happened at Christmas. <laughs> I, I don't know what to make of that. He was, like, really angry with me. And in the end, he just went, oh, God, £250,000, all right? Are you going to oh. get the second bum hole? <laughs> oh, that was, it's tempting, isn't it? <laughs> is that... Belt and braces, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Is that to get more drunk? Hey? To bump no, I just think if I want one? to have one fitted, I should be allowed to. And that they <laughs> well, why, why would yeah, you? Get off their say <laughs> perches, they think they are. <laughs> and it's a bit of a party trick, isn't it? It's a bit of a party trick. Yeah. Next, yeah. Christmas, next Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Look, Mummy. <laughs> Good. Um, I'm absolutely thrilled to have added another um, absolutely unbroadcastable section to the show. Um, I really like BMXs. I like getting drunk. Doctors must do. We haven't found out what he's given us. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're, we're, we're still in the preamble. I tried to, and then there was sort of a, a, either I had a dream or you talked about having a second bum hole. A fake anus. And then I looked around and there was loads of people looking at me for not saying anything, like that was my fault. <laughs> little button they put in your tummy, you can press it, whoop, opens. <laughs> if, if it opens, does that mean when you get in the vodka bath, you can be like, single or double? <laughs> <laughs> can we have a score update, please? <laughs> yeah, you have to give me two minutes. Uh, one minute. Um, uh, uh, about somewhere between a minute and two minutes. OK. Do you want me to get someone to fill? <laughs> yes. Is it me again? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Lou is in the lead by quite a way. She's on 82 points. Uh, next, Sean on 69, Ian on 65, Joe on 62, and Paul on 58. So it's close. It's close for a second. I ran out of effort. I ran out of breath. Ran out of effort. <laughs> <laughs> I ran out of breath. <laughs> I just ran out of effort, you know. <laughs> I, st I stopped trying at the very end. <laughs> I'll do it again. So Lou has extended her lead. She's on 82 points, then, then down to the 60s. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dear. Uh, You've run out of coordination. You're running out of all sorts of things, aren't you? Right, I will need a second, unfortunately. Do you want Lou to fill again? <laughs> <laughs> Any points? Uh... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> do, we, do you want to start with Lou? Do I? Oh, yeah. yeah oh, do that you want to start Sorry, with? that sounded... <laughs> <laughs> do you want that, me to ask you again? That was accidentally <laughs> lascivious. I'll, yeah, ask me again. Do you want to start with Lou? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yes, ask me again. So, do you, do you want to start with Lou? Of course I do. Okay. I respect her as yes. an equal. <laughs> <laughs> eerie. Eerie. I, I, don't want, um, I, don't want, I don't want Lou and the um, sexy boys. Lovely the, boys. Lovely, lovely boys. I don't want Lou and the lovely boys to, f to feel left out, oh, so... No. If you want to do a quick improv of a track, I'm more than happy to hear it. Oh. I've lost all confidence in <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. We, yeah. Where was we seen that? I mean, that's very good. <laughs> you want to judge them? Yeah. We I... are the lovely boys. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Ian Sterling, we are the lovely boys. <laughs> Our music is unfurling, but who's the star? The undoubted star. We do West End stuff. It is true. <laughs> it's Sanders Lou. <gasps> oh, yeah, the lovely boys. <laughs> <laughs> Change your mind. <laughs> Get together. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I thought you were going with the tune of We Are the World, Paul, initially. <laughs> I'm relieved it found its own way. Interesting song. She doesn't actually say Skyfall. Mm. She says When the Sky Fills. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Which I believe is a small donkey. A skyfall. Oh. Yeah, a skyfall is a small. When oh. the skyfall. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, I'd need to repeat that a few more times to get my head around. I know, that, I know this has nothing to do with your attempt, but I'll also tell you this. I once convinced a friend that the second line of that song was, um, mustn't grumble. <laughs> I thought it was Mr Tumble. Oh. We thought, I said, I, we thought it was Mr Tumble for ages. I mean, that is, that is more ridiculous than mustn't, mustn't grumble. <laughs> The James Bond song, when the sky falls, doesn't grumble. <laughs> when the sky, the sky falls, falls, Mr. Mr. Tumble. Tumble. <laughs> hey, if you, hey, if you see a sky fall, Mr. Tumble is never far behind. <laughs> he's, a, he's a clumsy bugger, isn't he? <laughs> you, what's the uh, prize task? Well, uh, this week we've asked the contestants to bring in the nicest thing to hold. Hmm. Yes. Greg's going to judge which he thinks is the nicest thing to hold and give five points to the person that brought it in. At the end of tonight's proceedings, the overall winner will carry five things home and have a thoroughly nice time in doing so. Nice? Yeah. Nice? Nice. Nice. What's the nicest thing you've held? John, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> John, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, was he, uh, uh, I was sp literally speaking to someone called John just before we came in. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever held him? Uh, not solely me. I don't think I've ever been responsible for just John, but I've, def <laughs> I've definitely... I've held, on, I've held on to him. OK. But I've never held him. OK. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Alex. <laughs> Have I gone red? No, are you uncomfortable about talking about holding people? Absolutely. <laughs> Do you want a little...? Do you have a little hug? No. Genuinely doesn't like physical contact. No. It's unnecessary, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> OK. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Hang on, let me just get comfortable. Let me, <laughs> let me get something to hold. OK. <laughs> Thank you, Ian. <laughs> um, Ian, uh, Ian. Hello, Daddy. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that interesting? It made me uncomfortable coming from Alex for one reason. Coming from you, it feels like a threat. <laughs> I actually... I actually liked it more than I expected. <laughs> Genuinely did. Well, if you want to come and sit on Daddy's knee, you let me know. I might do. OK. When you least expect it. I'm always ready. Here. <laughs> Go on. What have you uh, bought in that's um, more protective than a ticket to a bunker? <laughs> <laughs> and they're going to onesie. And they're going to onesie. Did anyone yeah. see that um, footage on the news yesterday <laughs> of, of the, the Pope refusing to let ring. people kiss his ring? Yes, Did you not think at one point it looked like people knew they weren't allowed, so they were like, trying to get in before he could move the ring away? There's a of people coming to kiss his ring, as is tradition, and he's obviously decided, I'm sick of people kissing my ring. <laughs> so he goes like this. Well... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but then they do it, they go like that. Yeah, it's they, fascinating. They go to get the ring. He sort of puts his ring out, they go to kiss it, he goes like that. <laughs> um, I, I haven't eaten that many sandwiches in my life. <laughs> I mean, that is sensational, mate. 30 isn't it? years old. My girlfriend pointed it out. Uh, have sandwich. you been writing sandwich? I write sandwich. You don't. With, With a G? G? No. S A N D W I C H. Sandwich. So you write sandwich. Oh, sandwich, I, yeah. yeah. You thought it was a. Sandwich. The D was pronounced as a G. <laughs> I just didn't. I hadn't realised it. What, what, what do you mean? <laughs> well, I say sandwich. And no one's ever, in 30 years, no one said to me, what? But you're sounding the G deliberately. Can well, I have I that cheese sandwich? I'm aware of it now because of that day. <laughs> I got up in the morning and I said, oh, I might have a sandwich. Cos uh, I was, you know, small talk in the morning to my girlfriend. And then she went, do you know that you say sandwich wrong? Do you ever stop in a park and stroke a lovely gog? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. No, I'm not angry with you. I, I do seem it. Sandwich? Oh. No, I am angry with you, weird. <laughs> <laughs> but it's an easy sandwich. Yeah. Sandwich. Yeah, stroke the gogs, feed the gucks. <laughs> How do you say sandwich? Sandwich. Mm. <laughs> Lovely. That's because you're, well, a... That's... That's you're a <laughs> geek. <laughs> Hello! Welcome back 
to the Taskmaster Series 8 Grand Final. It's part two and it's exciting. So, to reflect this, Alex, can you please shout your recap at the very top of your lungs? <laughs> they are trying to erase an eraser as fast as possible. Louder! And Ian and Paul flushed it! More! Sean chopped it in a bush! Actually shouts! Joe made a mess! <laughs> and who's next? Lou Sanders! <laughs> you genuinely shout like a little old man. <laughs> Why is there no volume? I'm sorry, I did my best. Get away from my lawn, you two! <laughs> So weird. He sounds. He sounds further away when he shouts. Jesus, <laughs> oh, why can't you shout? I'm taking all these as compliments. Do you want to test my potions now? <laughs> <laughs> no, you go play with your ball somewhere else. <laughs> you whip us now, boys. I'm not the sure. The council will hear about this. <laughs> I'm not sure if I've ever shouted before. <laughs> I can't remember ever shouting. So weird, Alex. <laughs> Shout to the back of the room. Hello! <laughs> Is that I, bet, I bet if he shouted in a cave, there wouldn't be an echo. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? <laughs> Can we get on with it, please? <laughs> Jenny, it made me hate you a bit. <laughs> Can you whistle? I bet you can't whistle either. My friend um, spent years collecting uh, little miniature bottles of alcohol from all around the world. And um, he came home one weekend recently and his mum had... Um, <laughs> his mum had drunk all of them. <laughs> <laughs> it's been on a weekend bender. <laughs> Fifteen years of that's, collecting. That's terrible She'd absolutely <laughs> smashed a lot. She needs to see Jill in the Pyrenees. <laughs> <laughs> Did Something. she make them into candles? She said she was bored. Oh. <laughs> she said, where's all my collection? She said, I was bored, I've necked them. She could have come round to my mum's. Why mom. is one of your friends still living with her mum? He went to visit her. Oh. What, and brought he all left his collection blues? with her, foolishly. Oh. oh. A, a real um, expert keeps their... Um... Under the bed. <laughs> <laughs> oh. If you drink those miniatures like, on a plane and you get really drunk, but when you're really hammered, you can pretend like you're like a giant. Yeah, I don't think so. You go, oh, I'm Greg Davies, and then drink it. <laughs> For more Taskmaster, subscribe now.